Thanks, ESPN, for this tribute tonight. It's great to be here and great to be alongside Lindsay and Dwayne right here. I want to thank my parents for getting me started off at such a young age in my life and pointing me in the right direction and getting me to all my games and practices every single day. From my coaches, from high school to the pros and all of Patriots organization. And a big shout out to all my fans that stuck behind me. When I look back on my career, yes. When I look back on my career, what I look back on, what I was most proudly was, was the teammate I am. The teammates knew I'd do anything for them, and I knew they'd do anything for me. And I know the relationships we formed will stay with us the rest of our lives. So thank you to all the guys I played with, and thanks for making the ride so much more fun and so much more memorable. Kyle where you at, Kyle? Dietrich, where you at, baby, right there? We got David Andrews, we got many more. Thank you guys for everything. Um, well, it's an amazing honor to be up here with these two incredible, incredible athletes. Incredibly old, also. <laughs> In my 19-year career, I've had a lot of ups and downs, but I'm happy that I've at least broken more records than Bones. Just about. <laughs> I want to thank everyone who supported me, who taught me and helped me along the way, especially my family, my friends, and of course, my incredible boyfriend, PK. <laughs> shout out, that's a shout out right there, in the mix, in the mix. I think what ski racing has taught me is that there is nothing more powerful than self-belief. No matter what setback I faced, I always believed I could come back. So for everyone out there, whatever your struggles are, always believe in yourself and never give up. Uh, before I start my speech, I have to say thank you to, uh, to Drew Brees. Uh, because of what you said to your wife on stage, my wife looked at me with a death stare. <laughs> and said, if I don't say something up here, the car ride home is going to be long. <laughs> With that being said, darling, you are amazing. You look incredible in this dress. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I cannot wait till, um, till five years from now until I get a chance to marry you again. Oh. All right? Yeah. It's going to be a little lower budget than the first one, but it's all good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at a point, the game of basketball was all that mattered to me. The drive for greatness, it was my why. I used to think no one cared to hear what I had to say on certain topics. Why? Because I'm just an athlete. So I kept my mouth shut for a long time because of the fear of how I thought I would, I would be viewed. But then I woke up and I realized that basketball, as amazing as it is, it was just a tool that was given to me to do more and be greater. I started to think about that kid that, that grew up in Robbins, Illinois, and who just wanted someone to, to help him and his family. You know, someone who cared enough about people that they never even met. So I decided to become that person and be that face and that voice for my community. A face and a voice that I wanted and I needed as a kid. Sports have given us this platform. Recognize your power, use it to better your communities, and continue to fight for change. Thank you to ESPN for this honor. There's more work to do. We're just getting started, even though we're old and retired. Good night. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.